I make this video once a year, and that's because at the end of each year, I weigh up all the gold we found and see if we wasted our time or not. 2023 was amazing. We found more gold this year than any other year, which is gonna make 2024 a challenge to beat. So let's just get started and go through each month and see how we did for 2023. So being the beginning of the year, the water levels aren't ideal, so there are limited places to look. So I decided to build a trail to access a hard to reach spot on my claim. Slippery! I did some random gold panning, metal detecting, and even some sniping, which all paid off in the end because we found just under a gram of gold at the end of the day. The other time I got out to film in January was when I explored a brand new claim with my wetsuit. I had little hopes as I wasn't familiar with the area, however I need to give myself a little more credit. I am a professional gold sniper and it ended up finding a bunch of gold fairly quickly. By the end of the day, I managed to snipe just under three grams of candy. Now the majority of these bags is only half of what I found as the majority of the time I split the gold with my mining partner. In the pan it goes to way at the end. Now February is what made the biggest difference out of any other previous year. Oh! I traveled to New Zealand and on the first day I went out, I found over an ounce of gold in a crevice, which was absolutely amazing. On another day, I ended up finding the biggest gold nugget I've ever found, which was 16.3 grams. And that guy was sitting next to an eight gram nugget that I gave to Darren for showing me that spot. Another time, I sniped about 20 grams in half the day and then did a bunch of dredging, but didn't have nearly as much luck as I did those first few days. So here's what I took from February. Again, this is half of what I found. <laughs> oh man. I didn't get out a whole lot in March as I swam over to Australia and got lost in the bush, but once I made it back, I put on my wetsuit and jumped right in. I didn't do nearly as good as New Zealand, but I was happy I left with some candy and a piece that looked like a Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4. I did all right in April as I was able to get out a bunch, but was only able to shoot three videos. One of them was when I tried high banking using advanced technology, AKA a log to hold up the sleuth box to high bank. You gotta look really, really close to see if you can see any gold. And well, not enough gold to weigh. And the other two were when I moved a bunch of boulders to access different spots to snipe. And I did a video in the dry to exercise my crevicing muscles. April, meet your friends. This was a fun month for a few reasons. For one, I found decent gold testing a new sniping spot, which I found a few nice rough pieces. I tested Home Depot sand and actually found gold. Seriously, check that video out, it's pretty cool. And I reconnected with the original pioneers and actually found gold using primitive technology. I believe this video should have done much better than it did, but what do I know? It's starting to add up, but we're not done yet. June was awesome. June treated us well. I spent a bit more time hiking further up the rivers to access better spots. I was able to discover multiple gold nuggets just taking my time and even located a little crack that had seven grams of gold in it. I was even introduced to the super duper special purple high banker named Barney, which I love so much that I'm actually selling the poly version of this in the new year. Before the month was over, I visited Andy Thrax Mining to see if I could steal some gold nuggets off his claim, but had no luck. There's a lot of nice nuggets in here. <laughs> I love Vancouver Island gold. In the pan you go. Creator depression hit me hard early July as I was just feeling super discouraged. I blame this on comparing myself to others, which you should never do. I went out and made a video titled, Did I Just Find My Last Gold Nugget? Where I did find gold, but wasn't sure if I would make another video. 24 hours later, my ADHD kicked in overdrive and I went out again with Barney and I was back in action. I went and high banked a very good spot on my claim and did well finding over a gram of gold in under a yard, which is pretty good. A week or so later, I hiked up from that spot and found a nice steady stream of gold in a crevice that I still have yet to fully clean out. Maybe come spring. So I noticed there's a decent sized nugget in this bag that I don't recall where it came from, which is odd because I can typically know exactly where my gold came from. Maybe Santa? If you recognize this nugget from a particular video, leave a comment down below. You're free at last. 
August was another fun month. I experimented with a ridiculous sized gold pan and used a metal detector, which both combined helped Bailey and I find some sweet gold. And again, I thought this video would do good too, but if you haven't already seen it, I highly recommend it. Also, if you think that this pan is big, just wait till you see what we built for the new year. In El Pan, you go. ADHD kicked in again and Kyle and I were back abusing Barney with the most dirt we could throw at it. We spent most of the day piling a huge pile of dirt at the rich spot again and ended up getting more than what we had expected. Over two grams of gold in about one yard. I unfortunately lost the guessing of the weight so Kyle took the loot home. While my ADHD was cooling off, I went back into town and compared three hardware stores to see which had the most gold in their sand. To see the results, I recommend you check out that video as well. And unrelated to gold, I did top up my Dan Hurd vitamin and found some ocean picture stone. Who doesn't like ocean picture stone? Since I didn't take any of the gold from the hardware stores, no gold for this month. Don't touch my pan. I did nothing in October because I'm a loser. I did nothing in October because I was shooting my first ever music video called Don't Touch My Pan. It's the first of many music videos that I'm planning on doing, not because my impressive ability to sing, but because I can, I want to, and why not? Don't touch my pain. I also did get out sniping during a ridiculous flood, which I do not recommend to anybody because it's dangerous and you lose snuffer bottles like I did. Luckily I had a spare and found 2.2 grams by the end of the day. Half of it to the claim owner and half of it into the pan. For December, I was only able to get out once before the end of the year because of a bone graft planted into my jaw. But that one day I went out made up for it. I went out with my metal detector and worked the higher benches with success. I was able to pull out not one nugget, not two nuggets, but three gold nuggets and a nail by the end of the day. And because I was alone, I was able to keep all the gold for myself. Which I'll now add as the last piece of gold for 2023. Oh. That is beautiful. So again, this is all the gold that I was able to keep outside of all the gold splits, giving the gold away, and even losing snuffer bottles. Before weighing up all the gold, I just wanna really look at some of these pieces that we found this year. Obviously, this is the biggest nugget in the pan and also the biggest nugget I've ever found. It's a really ugly piece, I gotta be honest, but it's still over half an ounce. There's a unique crack through it, so I'm kind of paranoid of dropping it because I don't want it to break. This is the second biggest nugget nugget I was able to keep this year. It would have been that eight grammar that I gave to Darren, but this one is still awesome. A couple other big nuggets in here, cannot complain. I'm very grateful that this island produces some really nice looking gold. Now, the moment of tooth. Whew, I'm actually pretty nervous. I've waited an entire year for this moment. I'm gonna put the bigger nuggets in first so I don't risk knocking over the little scale tray. Already 21.76 grams. Here we go. 2023, how did we do? Two grams, 77.77 grams, which is 2.7 ounces. Oh yeah, baby. And now that this jar is just about full, I can bring it to the bank and add it to the rest. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Now here's to 2024.